This video will show you how to set up on-screen chat in OBS, and I'll also go over some general things that you might need to know about OBS. First, you need to open up a browser and log in to your Twitch account. I assume you already know how to do this because everybody does. So we'll go to that. And then we go to a new tab and you go to streamlabs.com. S-T-R-E-A-M-L-A-B-S.com. And you press launch stream tabs, connect with Twitch, and it'll automatically sign you into your account. And what we need to do is go to chat box And then go over here and, uh, oops, oops, highlight this, right click it and copy. Then you go to your OBS and open up browser source. And I'll just call this chat. I've already got one called chat box, which that's what this is, but I'll just make a new one. And then you just type, you, uh, Highlight that and then you press Control V or you right click and say paste. There you go, you've got it set up. And now you have a chat box. And I'll show you how that works. Let me get back into my Twitch. Uh, get out of here, guys. We don't need to do that right now. I'm trying to do this. Okay, let me get my chat popped out of the thing here. Alright, so we got our our uh, chat window from our dashboard on Twitch and we're going to say hello and as you can see it just said hello right here on the screen and that's in the chat box right here and you can make it any size you want what I do on mine is I take it down to the bottom where I have all my nifty graphics and we do test 2 and see, we've got two of them on there and it starts from the bottom. So we'll go test three. And now it's getting a little out of hand. It's get, getting outside the box that I made with my graphics. You can do it any way you want. You can shrink this down if you want. You can just have a stack of them because it'll go all the way up to the top like this and then it'll start going through. And it'll knock the ones at the top out. But here's how I did it for mine is I stretched it stretched it out like that and then you go to transform edit transform and then right here you can crop the top off of it and so I did something like 300 nope that's not enough so 400 whoops that's 4,000 okay it's almost it's a little bit needs a little bit more whoops maybe not quite that many and maybe eight that looks pretty good. Okay, so I've cropped it so that it's only two bars tall. And now, whenever I type something, test three, hello. Now you can see it's only going to show those two bars all the time. Most people want it to show a lot of, of chat, so they will not crop it. They'll just leave it the way it is. So if you want to do that, you can just do this. You can just leave it at zero and put it somewhere on your screen, wherever you want. Put it over here, put it down here, whatever you want to do. And it'll keep going all the way to the top and it'll keep, it'll just um, start again once it rolls off the top, as you can see, it just keeps scrolling. So that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. Now I wanted to talk a little bit about the uh, screen captures for like game captures. I showed you how to do the game capture. Some games will not work with game capture. Whoops. Ah, stop that. So we get a game capture. We'll create a new one. Yeah. And some one, some of them don't work with the full screen application. So what you need to do is you say capture specific window. And then down here, you'll see a list of 
things you have running, including the game that might be running. That's if you are running the game. Now also another thing I've come across is sometimes games don't want to, it, either you start a game and OBS will crash, or you can start OBS and a game will crash. So you have to figure out sometimes which games will be compatible with OBS and you have to start one either OBS first or the game first so it's kind of a, a little tricky situation so if you have a problem where it crashes OBS or it crashes your game then you'll have to find out which one you should start first just by experimentation and then if it doesn't work with the full screen application thing if you don't see anything in the screen try specific window and then go find the game name in here and click the game name and OK and it should work. If that doesn't work then you may have to fool around with some other things like sometimes you might have a game that only runs in a window so you would have to go to a window capture we'll create a new one and yeah and then you would find your game in here so we'll just pretend that this is the game name Twitch Opera. Opera is the browser I'm using right now and whether you want the camera the uh, cursor to be in the screen or not and then say OK and then you can resize the game to whatever you want. Go to transform, fit to screen, and that'll make the game full full on the screen. Or you can shrink it in different ways like that. Or you can, whoops, go back to your window. Or you can do this, edit transform, go to stretch to bounds. And as you can see, it makes it stretch to whatever you set it to. So you can make the game really skinny like this and then you can make your chat window go right down here like I do. So there's all kinds of different possibilities with OBS. It's a great piece of software. Just experiment and play around and see what you can come up with. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you out. Follow me on twitch.tv slash Wheatstone Homes and subscribe to me on youtube.com slash Wheatstone Homes.